brought to you by TheMobileFarmer.com Hey Pete, so we're here for another edition of Ag Nerds uh, with Peter Grenig from The Mobile Farmer, Ag Nation. Welcome today, Pete. Good to be with you, Sean. Okay, Pete, let's talk a little bit about uh, devices uh, today. Uh, I guess I got a big question for you. Sure. Do you, I know you, I may know what your answer is, right. but is Rim, is Rim on its last legs? Is, is the Blackberry dead? Well, it's funny, we're at the Outdoor Farm Show, Canada's Outdoor Farm Show, and it's amazing how many people I run into, and because they've watched our segments before, they know I'm a Blackberry guy, and I'm like, you know, I don't want to be labeled that way, I really don't. I, I would use the word Blackberry honk. Well, whatever, you know, I, I really don't care what platform or device you use. It's sort of like the combine color thing again. It, I just, just, just experiment with the devices and, and what mobile technology can do. But I have Blackberry stuff, right? I have from the beginning, I've got a playbook, I've got a torch, and you're, you're saying, are they dead? Um, we have a colleague, obviously, it's in the programming side of things, and she defends Blackberry and says, you know, in Europe, they're rocking it. India? India, Southeast Asia, China. Uh, the real problem for BlackBerry is the United States and I think our own media. The U.S. consumer. The U.S. consumer and the tech media has vilified RIM because they've made a lot of mistakes, right? Yeah. They've, they've made some, they've stumbled a little bit. But Kelly had mentioned to us that uh, if you look at, uh, you go anywhere and you look at uh, gir you know, teenage girls, right. the Curve is like a hugely popular phone because it can text right. so fast on it. Right, and I think a lot of entry-level smartphones yeah. outside of the U.S. tend to be that either a flip phone BlackBerry right. or a Curve or whatever. The problem, in my opinion, with RIM is they didn't anticipate applications. Right. They didn't see that coming. They didn't see that coming at all. Did it, but and, as and you it, said, nobody saw it coming. Nobody saw it coming, but obviously Android wasn't up and running at that right. time. So they've been able to respond to yeah. it most effectively. Apple opened it up so that other people could build the apps and then they'd still right, get right. a piece of the action when they sell them. BlackBerry, dozens of devices, multiple operating systems. Yeah. We've programmed for uh, apps for BlackBerry. It's right. tough. It's hard. Do you think it's the marketing? So I'll give you an example. This morning I'm having breakfast and I open the uh, Future Shop catalog or yeah. the, uh, the the brochure that came in the, with the Globe Mail and uh, they've got the Droid phones over here, BlackBerry phones over here. The BlackBerry phones, all they show is the, the interface. Okay? All the Droid phones show the functionality. They show right. faces, they show pictures, how you can use the phone. Right. Whereas BlackBerry was kind of dull and just showed a green screen. Do you, do you think it's yeah. in the marketing? Well, I think that's definitely part of it. Uh, they haven't communicated to the media effectively, obviously, because despite all the negative press that they get, they're a profitable company, they still have significant market share globally, uh, their products have their weaknesses and their strengths, right, mm -hmm. like any. Um, I've been able to do a lot of good things with BlackBerry devices, right? But the reality is, are they going to win the race? Are they going to be the dominant player? Uh, they'd have to make some significant changes and advancements. To so, so what are those changes? Well, I think they have to figure out what is their operating system because now they've just introduced OS 7. So that's a challenge for app builders right. again. And they're not even done because we know that QNX, right. which is the operating system on, on the playbook, playbook yep. which I think is fantastic, is going to be on the smartphones in the next generation. So again, they're trying to improve, but they're making it challenging again for app builders because that's another operating system. If you built an app for OS 6, it won't work on QNX. Hmm. It's like a moving target. It's a moving target. The one thing I will say that I think holds promise for RIM is that they hope to be able to use Android developed apps on QNX operating system. So then they go all of a sudden from 20 or 30,000 apps that RIM has mm -hmm. to accessing, what, 200,000 Android right. apps? Right. So that could, that could be a big benefit. But is, it, is it the fact that they don't have a lot of, is it they didn't anticipate the apps, or is it the fact the iTunes store is so easy to use? Well, I think the iTunes store is easy to use, and they didn't have any anything analogous with that. So, because you know, they didn't have the apps. Well, you know, I think one of the issues that... Uh, they have is that, you know, and I find this myself, and I know my wife does too, the Apple stuff is so simple. 
Yeah, it is. And there are times where there's the functionality of the BlackBerry. You know, the, the old joke, uh, the, bladder, the BlackBerry standard thing is to pull the battery and turn right. back on. Yeah. Which is going away. It's not yeah, necessarily it's fair better. anymore. Yeah. Uh, but it's just the simplicity. Yeah. No, you're right. I mean, I, there are people that complain about their iPhones. There are people that are, you know, there are issues with Android as well. well a lot of people complaining about right? the longer they have their Droid, the slower it gets. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Some of the programming that is, you know, there's no gatekeeper, so a kid in the basement can build an app, you load it up, yeah. it may be totally... Uh, Virus limit. Yeah. It's like going back to the old uh, LimeWire Netscape days. Right. Or no, Netscape, uh, Napster. Napster. Napster yeah, days. That, uh, you thought it was great until you realized, you know, you yeah. were getting some things you didn't want to get. But I don't think RIM is dead. I think they have to... They're challenged now to keep up. Right. Um, and I think the QNX operating system is... Uh, really strong, but can they max it out? Can they get those Android apps at play? Um, and we don't even know what the next iteration is for smartphones right. and yeah, where we're yeah. going. You know, I think you and I both see big potential for tablets and agriculture, and the phone will become maybe less important right. or equally important as the, the other piece, which will be the mm -hmm. tablet. Well, and I think the strength of BlackBerry Messenger holds enough people there. For now. It's giving them time giving RIM time to figure it out. For now, yeah. And the fact that they have a lot of business uh, clients that are yeah. kind of locked in. It's a Canadian now. success story. We, you want it to I work know. out. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely cheering for them. I'm not going against them. It's just, it's frustrating. We like to eat our own. That's right, yeah. yeah. Okay, Pete, until next time, we'll talk to you there. Okay.